it's nice being asked to share because you get to sort of just sit and reflect for a minute on the changes that have taken place and um, because they take place quite slowly or for me they just naturally shifted it, it's it's sort of difficult to remember how it was somehow but and yet every time I go home and I get immersed in sort of normal day-to-day -day life outside of community I see very starkly how it used to be for me and um, yeah I met this training I did the empowerments about three years ago and since then I've just seen life naturally shift away from this kind of struggle for trying to be something and make myself into something that was very socially acceptable and that other people would like because that was really how I gained my own sense of self-perception is through what other people were reacting to me with whether they were happy around me whether they were accepting of me and that's how I understood my worth through other people's response and I think that's quite pervasive in society and uh, and I could see that wasn't the way that I wanted to live and that was quite a small box to live from and that all of the things that I thought I needed to be were just um, yeah, just quite limited I guess and I, I spent some time trying to figure out how to access really the potential that I could be and all of my mind's capacity I always kind of felt from an early age that human beings didn't really use their minds to their greatest capacity I mean science could have shown you that and I've always been quite sciencey I like to measure things um, see things and I didn't really trust in things I couldn't measure or believe uh, to be sort of static as it were so I went uh, you know, with an intention to find self-love and to really find like the capacity of myself to know what love was actually. Um, and for a while I sat on a cushion and sort of tried to focus on open intelligence for a long period of time each day and then forget about everything for the rest of the day. And I saw that that didn't give me the tools with which to really understand everything I experienced in life as this complete love. And um, it always remained elusive and an intellectual understanding so yeah through doing this training it's been incredible how that's just all shifted and opened up I've come away from needing to have a career work every day earn money be seen in a certain way now I've changed my lifestyle took a year off work completely last year and just focused on the training because I really just wanted to know what was possible and um, it's been amazing, like I, I've had the opportunity to really see A, how this organisation works in terms of how it relates to each other, how it demonstrates complete unity in everything that it does, all of my service, I've um, been doing lots of baking this year, I've never baked before in my life, um, and there's always complete confirmation that everything is fine, you can do anything you want to do and we'll support you fully. And when you've got that kind of community and support you don't have to worry about anything there's never any constant revolving now when there was a lot of analysis and how can you know what are they going to think and how's it going to be and now it's much much more easy I trust totally that I can do what needs to be done in each moment and if it doesn't look like how I'd love to look at how I'd love for it to look it doesn't matter there's no focus in my mind anymore on how it should have been why it was wrong what I should have done all of that perpetual mind stream is much, much, much more relaxed and that's the best freedom I could ever hope for because it's a different way of using my mind and it, I haven't had to do anything for that, just show up and take short moments. And when I do take those short moments, for me, it just kind of looks like a, a reset back to what's looking and then I have a vantage of all of the emotions that I'm feeling, like a wide vantage. What do I want to focus on? What don't I need to focus on? Do I need to analyse why I burnt the brownies? No. <laughs> what else can I do? Like, that's how it is. <laughs> it wasn't like that a year ago. Burnt brownies would be a catastrophe. <laughs> so it's just, it's an example, you know, but it's, it's a pervasive example. Everything that I do in life is much more kind of like, is it worth thinking about? No, let's do that. Whereas, and some things that are more sticky, obviously I do end up down that line and my trainer has been incredibly supportive to to guide me through those through those times and um, 
to actually open up to someone who just sees complete power in me has allowed me to see that in myself more and more. And I, I, yeah, I've taken some time to open that relationship up. But she, she is incredible, like properly. <laughs> like I wouldn't, I'm, I've never really been the sort of person to have gone into sort of, I felt like I shouldn't need anyone and I shouldn't need to do anything that wasn't independent and strong and uh, build this sense of, oh, I can do it on my own. Uh, and actually, it, it went part and parcel of a sense of weakness because I, you know, it was a it was a reaction to feeling small and powerless. And actually, now inherently, as my trainer shows me the power that's within me through showing her power and everybody else's power, yeah, that need to have a front is just gone by itself and there's a natural pervasive sense of complete love for everyone like that I've never thought would be possible I never thought that would come about and um yeah I just naturally really want that for everyone and I know that the only way to really achieve that as a global society is to to learn how to use our minds in a different way how to let it flow without getting stuck in it and then um, this training has been so powerful for me to be able to learn that and the community also just reflects that back to me in everything that I do here and it's I used to have such pessimism about life about how things were just all screwed basically you know look at the world it's all going to collapse and just through being you know having a a focused and dedicated trainer to show me and a dedicated community to show me that there's something else that's possible now. And it's possible for me, because I've seen it in me, so I know it's possible for everybody else, and there isn't anything else that I can see now is more important than that. So life has just sort of naturally opened up to seeing what is of benefit. Yeah, I can do my career and I love that, and there's work that I really enjoy, it can be outside of community or inside of community, it doesn't matter. But naturally there's a shift in being able to make life work for me, like, not, not me work for life, it works for me in terms of how I naturally, spontaneously want to live it. And when I'm on my deathbed, when everything is finished and there's nothing to hang on to anymore, I'll know that every single moment of that was, was brilliant, you know, and that I learnt what, what, what I was capable of. So thank you for showing me all of that.